Hi friends! Today we will learn about the atom. So let's start. The atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains the identity or all of the chemical properties of an element. For example, oxygen contains oxygen atoms. Hydrogen contains hydrogen atoms. Nitrogen contains nitrogen atoms and chlorine contains chlorine atoms. But atoms exist as molecules, that is, one or more atoms bonded together to form molecules. For example, oxygen gas is made up of oxygen molecules, where each oxygen molecule has two oxygen atoms bonded to each other, and that is called a diatomic molecule. Similarly, Nitrogen gas has diatomic molecules, where each molecule has two atoms of nitrogen bonded to each other. So, now you can understand the atom is the smallest unit of any type of matter called element. And the atom cannot be further broken down by chemical means. The concept of the atom was first proposed by Democritus. Now let's learn the structure of atoms. Atoms are made up of subatomic particles, which are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons. Each proton has one unit of positive charge, and neutrons are electrically neutral. And each electron has one unit of negative charge. The attractions between the positive charges in the nucleus and the negative charges of the electrons keep the electrons revolving around the nucleus. So, an atom consists of two regions, atomic nucleus and the cloud of electrons. An atomic nucleus is the center of the atom and contains positively charged particles called protons and neutral uncharged particles called neutrons and the cloud of electrons. This part is much larger and contains negatively charged particles that orbit around the nucleus. And we have already learned that the attraction between the positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons holds the atom together. We learned that the atoms contain all three of these types of subatomic particles, protons, electrons, and neutrons. An atom has two regions, the atomic nucleus and the cloud of electrons. Now which element is an atom? This is determined by the number of protons in the nucleus. I repeat, now which element is an atom? This is determined by the number of protons in the nucleus. What kind of reaction an atom will undergo is determined by the number of electrons surrounding the nucleus. I repeat, what kind of reaction an atom will undergo is determined by the number of electrons surrounding the nucleus. Protons and neutrons do not have the same charge, but they do have approximately the same mass, which is one AMU or one atomic mass unit and electrons are much smaller in mass than protons. There are only about 1 by 1800 of an atomic mass unit. And each electron has a negative charge, equal to the positive charge of a proton. In the case of neutral atoms, the number of electrons orbiting the nucleus is always equal to the number of protons inside of the nucleus. Let's revise. Protons and neutrons do not have the same charge, but they do have approximately the same mass, which is one AMU or one atomic mass unit. And electrons are much smaller in mass than protons. There are only about one by 1800 of an atomic mass unit. And each electron has a negative charge, which is equal to the positive charge of the proton. In the case of neutral atoms, 
the number of electrons orbiting the nucleus is always equal to the number of protons inside of the nucleus. Now, let's have examples of some atoms and their structure. This is an atom of helium, or helium atom. Helium has two protons and two neutrons in its nucleus, and its electron cloud has two electrons. This is copper atom. It has, it has 29 neutrons and protons in its nucleus, and 29 electrons in its electron cloud. This is the oxygen atom. It has 8 neutrons and protons in its nucleus, and 8 electrons orbiting around its nucleus. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is a characteristic of a chemical element and determines its place value in the periodic table, and it is called its atomic number. So, the atomic number of helium is 2. The atomic number of copper is 29. And the atomic number of oxygen is 8. Now, let's have some more examples of atoms and their structure. This is the fluorine atom. The atomic number of fluorine is 9, which means it has 9 protons and 9 neutrons, and 9 electrons revolving around it in the electron cloud. Now, let's learn what atomic mass is. We learned that the mass of each proton is 1 AMU, and the mass of each neutron is also 1 AMU, and electrons have negligible mass. So, the total mass of the atom is the weight of the neutrons and protons. For example, in the case of helium, the atomic number is 2, which means it has 2 neutrons and 2 protons. So, the atomic mass is 4 AMU. Copper, we learned its atomic number is 29. That is, it has 29 neutrons and 29 protons. So, its atomic weight will be 29 plus 29, which is 58. So, its atomic weight is 58 AMU. Oxygen. The atomic number of oxygen is 8, which means it has 8 protons and 8 neutrons. So, the atomic mass is 8 plus 8, which equals 16. Next is fluorine. The atomic number of fluorine is 9, so its atomic weight will be 9 plus 9, which equals 18, because the atomic number 9 means fluorine has 9 neutrons and 9 protons, and the atomic weight of fluorine atom is the sum of the weight of the neutrons and protons, so atomic weight is 18. Another example, iron. The atomic number of iron is 26. This means it has 26 protons and 26 neutrons. And we learned the atomic weight of an atom is the sum of the weight of protons and neutrons. And the weight of protons is 26 AMU and the weight of neutrons is 26 AMU. So the atomic weight of iron is 52 AMU. Similarly, nickel. The atomic number is 28, so atomic weight is 28 plus 28, which will be 56 AMU. Similarly, zinc. The atomic number is 30, so its atomic weight will be 60 AMU. Lithium. The atomic number is 3, so its atomic weight will be 6 AMU. Sodium. Its atomic number is 11. So, its atomic weight will be 22 AMU. Chlorine. The atomic number is 17. So, its atomic weight will be 34 AMU. So, friends, today we learned a lot of the basics about the structure of atoms.